class. Today we're going to be moving on from place value and subtracting numbers and we're going to be looking at patterns. So today specifically we're going to look at growing patterns. So patterns that continue to grow and move. And that is going to be page 8. Okay, so I'm on page 8 and I'm going to write my objective. Today I will identify growing patterns. Okay, and there's some vocabulary that we will need to go over, so make sure you have enough room. So I'm going to write vocab, and we're just going to review some words. Okay, the first word I want us to look at is pattern. Pattern is a sequence of numbers or shapes that follow a rule. The next word we have is repeating pattern. Okay, and this is a pattern that that repeats. For example, you might have circle, square, circle, square, circle, square, and it just goes on and on and on and on, okay? The next kind of pattern that we have is a growing pattern, which is what we're going to look at today. So a growing pattern is a pattern that increases with each term. For example, we might have one circle, and then the next term we have two circles, and then the next term we have three circles, then the next term we have four, and then what do you think we have the next term? Five. So that's what we call a growing pattern. Okay, the next word you want to look at is term, which is what we put in our last sentence. So term is the position of an object in a pattern. For example, if we have a pattern like the one from above, this would be considered my first term, second term, third term, fourth term. So it's just the placement. It's just to kind of identify um, where your patterns break off. Okay? The next word that we have is rule, which is a statement that explains the sequence of a pattern. So maybe our rule up here would be add one circle, add one circle, add one circle. That's the rule. 
And the last word that we have today, I'm sure your hand is hurting, my hand's kind of hurting, is feature. A feature is a special characteristic of a pattern. Okay, whew, take a breath. That's a lot of new words and we're really gonna practice it and dive into it more tomorrow, but I just kinda want us to get it familiar with those words. We're really gonna be looking at growing patterns today and we're gonna be look at, looking at identifying the rule and identifying the la next term or the next, um, what the next pattern would be, okay? So here are some steps that we can follow to be successful with these problems. So steps. Step one, study the pattern. So you wanna figure out what's happening, what is the pattern? Is it repeating itself, is it growing, how is it growing, okay? Two, find the difference between the terms. So you want to see how is it different. Here we can say, oh, it's plus one, plus one, plus one. It might be minus one, minus one, minus one, or plus two, plus two, plus two. That's the difference here. So it depends on what's the difference between the first term and then the second term. Okay? Three is find the rule. Four is find the next term, so continue the pattern. So continue, and then lastly, if they ask for the feature. So what's, what's unique about the pattern? Find a feature, and this is just extra. You might need it, you might not, okay? Okay, so that's what we're gonna be working on today is looking at growing patterns, identifying terms, seeing what the rule is, and if we can identify the final term, okay? Okay, here is the first pattern we need to look at. Pause this video right here and write down this pattern and then unpause and let's get started. So our directions are find the rule and the next term. So let's think of our steps. Step number one is study the pattern. So I need to look at what is happening. Well, we have one dot, then we have three, then we have six, then we have 10. And it kind of looks like it's like growing from the bottom. So we have one and then there's two on the bottom and then there's three on the bottom and then there's four on the bottom, something like that, okay? So my second step is to find the difference between the terms, okay? So from first to second term, two more dots appear. From the second term to the third term, three more dots appear. From the third term to the fourth term, four more dots appear. And then probably for the next term, it's probably gonna be five. So now I need to find the rule. So let's look, rule So let's see, the rule could be add a row of two dots, then a row of three dots, then a row of four dots, et cetera, et cetera, right? The rule is just however you see it. So if you were to write out 
say you didn't have this and you just had the rule and someone had to follow it just by what you said, could they create this based off your words? That's what you want to think about. So you want to think, if I covered this up, would I know what was happening just based off the words, okay? So now that we have the rule, we need to find the next term. So if we needed to find the next term, we would say, then a row of five dots. So I could draw one on top, we have two, then we have three, then we have four, then we have five. Okay, here is our next pattern that I want us to look at. This is what we call a growing pattern, right? Because it's not just repeating circle, star, circle, star. It's growing. The stars are growing. So the first thing we need to do is to study the pattern. So when I look at the pattern, I see that there's one circle, one circle, one circle, but the stars seem to be like multiplying or adding or something. So the first thing I need to do is look at the difference. So I kind of just did that, right? So I see that there's one star here, but then there's plus two stars here, and now there's plus three stars here. So here's what I'm thinking for the rule. Increase the stars by one after every circle, right? Because you have one circle, one star, one circle, two stars, one circle, three stars. So your goal is that if you told this to your friend that their pattern would look just like the one we just saw. So the next thing we need to do is we have the rule and now we need to figure out what the next term is. So my next term or my 10th term right, would be a circle, right? What about the 15th term? Well, let's look. The 10th term is a circle. And we know after each circle, it adds by one. So we have three here. That means we need four. So one, two, three, four. So we have 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, that means our 15th would be a circle again. Okay, let's draw a line. I'm just going to give you one pattern tonight to work on on your own. So stay tuned for the next one. Okay, let's take a look at our problem for tonight. So what I want you to do is to study this pattern. So what is happening from the first to the second to the third? That's going to be your rule, right? Determining the difference between each term is going to give you your rule. Then I want you to find the fourth and fifth term. So remember, when you're coming up with the rule, I should be able to cover this up, and your friend should be able to draw out the pattern. And then when you lift your hand, it should match it with your rule. Okay, so that's for tonight. Bring that in for tomorrow.